you'll forgive this tractor for taking two tries to start up when you realize it looked like this just over a year ago, a rusting heap in a Bradford County field. Adam Keir was the driving force behind the effort bringing it back to life. There we go. This has been in his family since his great grandfather yeah. got it in 1941. My great grandpa plowing with it and my grandpa plowing with it, my dad plowing with it. <laughs> but for decades after that, the old farm all just sat and rusted until the junior at Northeast Bradford High School decided to bring it to school. The main thing was we had to tear everything down and clean it. He got his fellow members of Future Farmers of America to restore it for a competition at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. And he got teacher Robert Robbins to help lead the effort. I jokingly say it, but I'm also kind of serious that it was fit for the scrapyard. But Adam's enthusiasm was contagious. Like I knew it was never going to be a showroom tractor, you know, because it spent 60 years outside. So when I saw it, I was like, well, we can make this thing work, you know. It was great. Every single day it gave me a reason to come to school. I was really excited. Until they found a big problem, a big crack in the engine block. And they told me that the engine block had a crack in it. That's when I lost hope. But they found a replacement. Adam made sure they all pushed on. I wish you could have seen it. We turned this whole place into a paint booth. We had plastic and big fans and painted it right over there. Now they can even start it the way it was done back in 1941 and say that their farm all was a farm show champion. It was 13 short months. I mean, we did everything. Now it runs and shines. Its work days are done, more of a show tractor now, especially showing what determined young people can do. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Bradford County.